I didn't leave the house for a solid two years. Uh, I didn't go to check the mailbox. I didn't step outside my front door. And it wasn't until I ended up getting my first service dog that that, that behavior changed at all. Hello. Hi, Gildan. You never want them to meet each other nose to nose. Going through the training, because of the PTSD, it's hard. I mean, you have to keep your temper. I like the way David handles it. Good boy. He's very patient. One, he understands what a combat vet went through. Once I realized how much it was helping me and that, holy crap, I'm out of the house. I'm out actually doing things now. This could be good for a lot of people. Well, one local veteran is helping out other fellow vets in Southern Colorado, one dog at a time. One of the local news stations did a small piece on us. So we started a GoFundMe page and apparently someone from Fairway Mortgage and American Warrior Initiative caught on to it. I had no clue that that was going to be a donation event. Can we add some money to go fund? Absolutely. Y'all want to add some money to go fund? How about $17,084.68? Is that a little bit to your go fund? Since the exposure that we've gotten because of the American Warrior Initiative a grant, we've really been able to expand, expand our program. It's a much higher quality program than it was. It got us a location where we're able to assist a lot more people, people in wheelchairs that can't be out in the cold or in the rain, uh, young children. So it's really given us an opportunity to help more people than we were able to help before uh, in a lot of different ways. I told him all about our family and I said, I'm not a disabled vet, but we are a military family and we do have a disabled child. And he was eager to come and see her and to meet our daughter. They've kind of become like family. They really have. I was looking at having to fly to Missouri to be able to get a dog that they assigned to me and then train every three years and pay for the flight and the room and board while I'm there for three weeks at a time for training. We were looking at like $50,000. Finding out that a service animal costs twenty-five dollars to $45,000 and you can be looking at a seven-year wait list, we can help them start working now. If I had never gotten a service animal in the first place, I, I probably wouldn't still be around. I couldn't do anything else. Being able to help other veterans and, and help them work through their situations helps me to work through a lot of my problems just was kind of a natural fit. They're the only people that could, uh, could hang out with me for too long. <laughs>